Hey, hi guys. Today I am discussing on the stats assignment. Uh, many of you have requested, so I am doing this video now. Uh, sorry, I am into a, a casual way, and uh, today being a Sunday, uh, it's a lazy day. So, uh, not wasting much time. Uh, the first question is uh, comparing bulb one and bulb two. Uh, in this, what you have to do is first we will mention. Uh, different measures to calculate performance so this is on page number 70 you go to uh, on the book go to page number 70 and you will get the different measures on which you can calculate performance now uh, to check the performance for both the companies what you have to do is go to uh, you will have to remove the standard deviation for both the companies now uh, for the for the people those who don't want to get into uh, calculating and doing everything what you can go is go to Google, search for standard deviation calculator and uh, there will be a website which would open. Uh, open this, enter the figures for both the companies and click on the button of uh, get standard deviation. You will get what is the difference for both the things. Now for people those who really want to understand how we can calculate standard deviation. Uh, you will have to use Excel in this. Now in Excel also there is an option that is you enter the entire details and apply the formula is equal to uh, standard deviation bracket open and you uh, select all the values. You will get what is the standard deviation but still if you want to break it up what is to be done is you enter the figures for both companies. Uh, first I will start with the first company. So you enter the figures and find out the average. Once you find out the average, you will get a figure average as 881.65. Uh, yeah, it is 881.65. Uh, now in the second column, what you do is the actual figure of that, uh, uh, the actual time minus the average time. So you will get a minus figure. Somewhere you will get a minus figure, somewhere you will get a plus figure. You add this up, you will get a total uh, below, uh, the total should come as zero. Unless it comes zero, your calculation is wrong. Okay. So this uh, average, the actual value minus the average is the deviation. Now this you do, do for the, for both the companies. Once you do this for both the companies, you will have to square it. Right. So whatever is the deviation figure multiply by the same figure so you will get a div standard, double deviation figure deviation square i would say sum it up you will get for the first company will get a figure of uh, 1 lakh 78480 and for the second company you will get a figure of 1 lakh 72432.6 so now uh, still we have not got the standard deviation to get the standard deviation this figure of uh, 1 lakh 78480 you will have to divide by the number of units so that is the divide by 20 you will get a figure of uh, yeah it is uh, 8924.02 and uh, this you will have to give a square root so 89 square root of 8924.0275 which is 94.4 and for the second company, the figure comes as uh, yeah one lakh seventy two thousand four hundred and thirty two point five five divided by twenty. You will get a figure of eight six two one point six two seven five, and the square root of this, this gives you a figure of ninety two point eight five. So ninety four point four and ninety two point eight five. You can definitely say that bulb two is a better performance. The company manufacturer of bulb two is better in the performance now uh, so basically we have answered both the question the first and the second uh, but one is uh, different measures uh, second is which company has a better performance and plus we have given a standard deviation entire calculation so almost we have answered this question now the third part is uh, would your uh, would your answer change if the assessment changes yes so uh, here we have given we have calculated through standard deviation now if we are seeing a fine number theory a fine number summary the average would change so what you have to do is you remove mean median mode quartile 1 and quartile 3 once you remove this you will get a uh, average which is median and according to that definitely everything changes so yes if my assessment changes the performance and the, uh, the performance of the bulbs would also change
Now moving to the second question, which is uh, correlation and coefficient. This is entirely a theory question. You need not worry. There is no uh, sum, addition, minus, minus, or anything that you have to do. Simply go to Google, search for the interpreting correlation coefficient, and you will get the uh, values of which it says whether it is uh, giving a positive relationship or it is giving a negative relationship or it is not having any relationship. So uh, every number has a identification in that table. Uh, if I will also post this into the comment, the entire the co correlation and coefficient thing. So you just have to give an introduction that how did correlation and coefficient uh, came into existence. This is there on page number 299. So uh, it's more easier. You can just go through that and you can form up the introduction. Then you give the details of this uh, three questions what have been given and then you conclude. Conclusion, I don't think so you need to write much. You just have to say that uh, how do you interpret the correlation and coefficient table. Now going to the probability. Now this again I cannot explain the entire thing. Simply do one thing. Go to Google, search for probability uh, calculator and search for multiple events so there are five events five events in which the ratio is uh, 70 30 70 for the indian team to win and 30 for the new zealand's team to win so 70 and 30 comes to 100 now uh, what you have to do is five events uh, event a that is india wins three times to uh, win the entire series so if india wins three times it it will win the entire series so we put 70 30 and uh, we say that five events so accordingly you click on uh, calculate probability and you will get the entire thing you have to copy paste it and cut them everything is over now the second question is if the uh, if one one country wins all the matches so this also is calculated in the multiple event uh, calculator itself uh, initially it will show that if one uh, if event a happens five times that is india wins five times then what is the answer so you can mention both the things in the one shot so this is how you can complete your stat assignment uh, it's it's a bit time consuming because you'll have to rack your brains i hope this will help you out but uh, still if you're having any confusions uh, you can message me my number is already there and also you can put a mail thank you enjoy your sunday and complete the assignment. Bye.